been loving it this time at Charmin. What's your favorite part of China, Olivia? My favorite part is probably seeing lots of tall buildings and interesting sights. And I coming. In China, there's just been like we've been gathered with loads of pictures, but we find it nice for the people to just get pictures of us. We find it cute. So we're actually leaving tomorrow, but because we've only been here for a week. Mommy and Daddy have been quite poorly, but that's fine. We've still had an amazing time. Thank you for listening to us. Bye! Oh, so, update. Our trip to Sharman hasn't quite gone as planned. This is day number four here now, and we are so full of cold. I've got a bad throat. I've got congestion. Tamara's literally in bed. She can't get up. The girls are okay for now, but we are feeling super rough, meaning that we can't get out. So we're going to take a couple of days recovery, and we're not going to let you down. We are going to get out there. We want to see this beautiful city, so bear with us. And in the next clip, we should be out and about enjoying it. Okay, we have made it out and about and we are determined to make the most of being in Sharman and that means not just being in our hotel room. So that leaves us with just today, 24 hours in Sharman to just discover as much as we possibly can. And the first stop is we're going to try and get the ferry to Gu Lang Yu Island. I hope I pronounced that right. Let's give this translator a go. I literally cannot read any of the signs. I don't know anything. I know nothing about the ferry, what time the next thing is, what, how much it is. It wasn't available online to work out. So it's down to me and the translator to work out if it's affordable to get over there and if we're able to get back in the same day. When is the last ferry back over? There's a boat for about 25. Perfect, thank you. Okay, so I've got the tickets. It took a while. I've used this trusty translator that has really helped me out. Absolutely fantastic. And it costs us to get over there about 30 pounds for all of us. I don't think that's a return ticket, so we will have to get a return ticket to get back. But I am excited. We've been herded in right now, and we seem to have joined this tour group, and this tour guide is now taking charge of us and checked our tickets and everything. So, fingers crossed we're going to be okay, and it's going to be a good day. There you go. Oh. <laughs> so we're about to get on the ferry now. We were just in the wrong queue, but this lovely tour guide who kind of took charge of us helped us out and he's directed us into the right way now. We're in gate number three, so hopefully we're gonna be able to get on the right ferry to go to the right place, but let's see what happens. I've got a feeling we're running late here. There's about four minutes before the ferry leaves. These guys over here are literally running and we're just on the elevator, super slow and relaxed. Um, I don't know where the ferry's gonna leave without us at the moment. We'll see. So we've made it onto the ferry. We weren't the last ones, thankfully. We've managed to make it on. It's actually a really nice, comfortable ferry. So we're gonna find a seat. It's about a 10 minute journey over there. So we're gonna try and find a seat, sit back, relax, and enjoy this journey before getting to Gulangyu Island. And we have made it to Gulangyu Island. I'm so thankful that we're finally feeling better and we've managed to make it here. This was suggested in all of our comments. So we've come here, it's looking really, really nice and the weather today is lovely. It's really, really hot, it's nice and sunny. So we're gonna go explore this island. We need to find a beach. I need to find a beach here in Sharman. Um, I want to experience a Chinese beach. So we've gotta find a beach, but first we need to go get some food. Let's go. 
There are so many people here, I think they're all on tours. Um, so it must be a very popular island for tourists. But we're kind of now being sucked up into a tour right here. So we better get out of this group because um, we need to find somewhere to eat. We've now just been hijacked by the tour for some photographs. The girls are in there somewhere having photos. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. hello. hello, hello. <laughs> we have found somewhere to eat and we have been taught how and why these are like this so I'm going to open up my cutlery set here and I now know why they put boiled water in the middle like this I'll put some in the shot glass, well, the drinking glass here. I don't drink this boiled water, no, 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 no. I'll place my chopsticks in here and I'm going to pour the water on here. Because we know what we're doing, we've already washed all of our cutlery, poured the water away and we have ordered some dishes using the translator so we think we have got it right. Let's see what arrives. So we've got all the classics here. We've got some beef noodles, we've got some shredded pork, some sweet and sour pork, some vegetables, and it is looking really, really good. Really, really good. So, food done, quick bite. My favorite dish definitely was this shredded chili potato dish. Tasted really, really good. Now we are out, we're energized, and we're ready to explore a bit of Gulangyu Island. Remember, the main thing is we wanna find this beach. Let's see what it's got to offer. Okay, I'm gonna have to try this cream bun. Um, it looks like that it's like used by milk from Gulangyu, I think. Um, I don't know, or, or cream from Gulangyu, I don't know. But I'm gonna try it because it smells delicious, is it nice? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh, so, so good. I never think that's really quite different whilst being here is these small streets. Most of the streets are about this width which means there's absolutely no chance of getting a vehicle down here. There's no scooters, there's no cars, I can't hear any vehicles going past, I can hear some drilling in the background. But other than that, these streets are just pedestrianised and I think it is actually by law there isn't allowed to be any petrol or diesel engines on this island, which is quite incredible but it's so nice and peaceful and just look at these streets, they're like alleyways okay I see a beach right there it says there's a beach and it must be this way let's go there we are I think I see a beach And we have made it to a beach in China. We're at the Gulong Yu uh, Viewing Beach, I think it's called. It's really, really quite long um, and it doesn't feel real. It feels kind of, I don't know, it's not like the usual beaches that we're used to, um, but it certainly is interesting to come on here and experience this. There's big oil tankers going past in the background because there's a massive port there. So that's very interesting. It's very peaceful, very quiet. There's no sort of wind, so it's quite nice. Um, but yeah, a beach in China, we've ticked it off. All the tours have now made it to the beach and we're getting hijacked. The girls are just behind us right there, getting loads of photos. Everybody's here. It's like they're part of the tour. 
it's like an unexpected part of the tour that they didn't know they were going to get today um, but yeah the girls are right here there is so many photographs being taken right now okay so i think it's time to head back now to the port and get the ferry back to Sharman. Um, it's been a really nice experience on here it's definitely a lot of a different feel um, there has been like a lot of colonization here in the past so there's lots of different types of buildings western types of influence here so it is a very different feel than the other part of Sharman and other parts of china my actual big camera battery has just died and I don't have a spare one so it's not gone to plan so I'm currently filming on my phone now. It definitely is worth a visit coming here and checking out this place um, but we better head back to the port now, get the ferry back and head back to Sharman. <laughs> Okay, we were almost late for the ferry again, but we've made it. The queue is all there, and the views from here of the Xiamen skyline look really, really good. So I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like from the ferry when we're going back. But we've made it in time. Phew. It's very different from when we came from Xiamen over to the island. We're on a nice ferry, now we're on a barge boat, and it's very, very busy. Um, but like I said, the skyline is pretty special, but it's so busy on here, so, so busy. Unfortunately, our trip here in Shaman hasn't been as smooth as what we wanted it to be. We've been unwell for like four or five days and we haven't seen as much as we wanted. I'm sure um, if we come back, we'll manage to get out and see it properly. Um, so we're sorry if we haven't managed to see this place like we wanted to do. Um, it's such a shame. But what we have seen, we've really, really enjoyed and it is a wonderful city. But it's time to move on now. We're heading up to Hangzhou. We will see you in our next video and that will be in Hangzhou so we'll see you then if you've enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and see us in our next video in Hangzhou goodbye <laughs>